get started. Ladies and gentlemen, please find your seats, what you all have. Um, at this time, we respectfully request that all electronic devices be muted or turned off for the duration of the ceremony. Thank you. So, good afternoon. On behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Hope Schrader, Commander of the 140th Force Support Squadron, welcome. I am Master Sergeant Joe Kitchen, your narrator, narrator for this evening's event. And today, you get to witness the promotion of Senior Airman Rebecca Absher to the rank of Staff Sergeant. Throughout the ceremony, you will be given cues to stand or be seated at the appropriate times. So the presiding officer for today's ceremony is Major Carissa Capeco, Colorado Air National Guard. And sharing this special occasion with us today are many family members, dear friends, and members of the Colorado Air National Guard. I would like to recognize these distinguished guests in attendance today. So please hold any applause to all guests have been introduced. Colonel Sean Ryan, Commander, 140th Mission Support Group. Chief Master Sergeant Lisa Perry, Superintendent, 140th Mission Support Group. Chief Master Sergeant Anthony Cook, Senior Enlisted Leader, Joint Force Headquarters. Chief Master Sergeant Manuel Gomez, Superintendent, 140th Ops Group. That is everybody. So. <laughs> We would also like to welcome all commanders, chiefs, and first sergeants that could be in attendance today. Now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the presiding official for today's ceremony, Major Capeco. Thank you. Good afternoon, guys. I wrote some notes, so hopefully that will keep me on track. And if I start rambling, Begley, just yell at me, OK? So uh, first of all, Becky, thank you for having me up here to do this ceremony. It's an honor. Um, Greeley's not drilling today, and I had a big family event, and I skipped it today so I could be here for Becky, because it means so much to see her get promoted to Staff Sergeant. So thank you for having me here. Um, to the family, uh, Bambi, Gavin, and Bailey, thank you so much for being here. This is a big day for Becky, and having you guys here to support her means the world to her, and she'll probably tell you that here in a little bit as well. I know that she does a lot here for this unit, and she's gone a lot. So having your guys' support and love means a ton for her to be able to be successful at her mission. So I think Becky's been with this unit for about four years now, a little longer. Five years in November. Has it been that long already? <laughs> it goes by quick. But Becky's somebody that I look to for friendship, mentorship, um, and advice and guidance. Um, you might be wondering why is a major going to an airman for guidance and mentorship, but um, I think we get a little too caught out about what we wear now here, or on our sleeves, or on our collars. Um, we're not just airmen, we're people, and we all um, have so many skills that we bring to the fight, and Becky is one of those people. Becky has some of the strongest mind mindset and passion that I've ever seen in one of our airmen. And every time I go in her office and spend time talking with her, I learn something, I come out a better person. And I know everybody who sits in the office with Becky has to feel that same way. And if you don't, you might need to open your ears or turn up, turn up a hearing aid if you have one, because she is a wealth of knowledge. Um, and it's such a pleasure having her as one of our recruiters because she's here now sharing everything that she knows and loves to our new airmen that are coming in the door. So um, I lost my spot <laughs> a little bit, but that's okay, right? Um, so today, Becky's stepping up into an NCO. Um, this is a big deal, and you guys are gonna be reading the creed with her this afternoon. Um, I want you guys to listen to the creed, because this is what Becky already embodies. She's already there. Um, she always is seeking out advancement. She is technically proficient. She displays the highest levels of professionalism and does it to her best of her ability every day, and she gives 150% every day here to this unit. She's devoted to our country, duty, and integrity, which you guys will all hear in that creed today. And Becky embodies that. And then there's just one thing I wanna leave with you guys. So I've been in the military for 19 years, and there's a couple of people that you always remember in your guys' career. You always remember your supervisor. You always remember that first bad one, right? You'll never forget that. You always remember that first good one, and you'll always remember that recruiter. 
that first person. I, I lucked out, I got two. But um, you always remember that recruiter, and that's so important because, um, Becky, you're the one who's leaving that first impression on all of our airmen, and you've been doing that as a senior airman, and you're gonna be doing that as an NCO. So if you've taught everybody you've recruited this far what an airman is, and now you're gonna be teaching them what a staff sergeant is, and you're gonna leave that lasting impression on them, and 25 years from now when they're long gone, they're always gonna remember you. So just keep that in your head. Um, I'm so proud of everything that you've accomplished and what you're going to accomplish, and I'm really proud to call you my sister in arms. So why don't we promote you today? Yes? Okay. Thank you, Major Capeca. Would okay. Airman Absher please come forward and join Major Capeca in the front? So ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Major Capeco promotes Airman Absher to the rank of Staff Sergeant. Publish the order. Attention to orders. Special Order A3154, Senior Airman Rebecca J. Apture is promoted to the grade of Staff Sergeant, effective 5 June 2019, with a date of rank of 5 June 2019. By order of the Governor, signed Major General Michael A. Lowe, the Adjutant General. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You can be seated. Would Bailey, Gavin, and Bambi please come forward to pin on Staff Sergeant Apture's new insignia? I don't know how good this tape is. You're probably going to have to smack her pretty good. Transition from airman to NCO is one of the more highly visible promotions one will have during their career and is one that is not to be taken lightly. According to the Air Force Handbook 36-26-18, NCOs are expected to accept and execute all duties, instructions, responsibilities, and lawful orders in a timely and efficient manner, to lead and develop subordinates and exercise effective followership in mission accomplishment, and to place the requirements of their official duties ahead of their personal desires. Sergeant Absher, you are not recommended for this promotion because we expect you to strive to be those things. You were recommended for this promotion because you have already been doing what is expected of a non-commissioned officer. I have personally got to watch you over the last couple years, and I can tell you that you've been operating at the NCO level for a long time. Today, it just becomes official. The NCO charge was made so a non-commissioned officer would have a precise understanding of their responsibilities in the Air Force. Relying on these concepts provide a simple path to success and a strong set of guidelines for new and old NCOs alike. At this time, will Senior Master Sergeant Asher please come forward to administer the NCO charge. <laughs> You are charged with ensuring that personnel and ready and resources under your control are effectively used. You are charged with remaining alert to detecting adverse morale trends and initiating corrective actions within your control, providing appropriate feedback to supervisors. You are charged with maintaining the highest level of communication and rapport with subordinates, remaining attuned to their needs, being ever mindful that is the key of empathy, not apathy. You are charged with actively ensuring, encouraging, and motivating both on and off duty involvement in unit and base activities by leading the way. You are charged with ensuring that people are treated fairly by all agencies in activities both on and off base and initiating corrective actions in the, any instance which violates these principles. You are charged with always wearing the uniform properly and ensuring compliance from subordinates. You are charged with personal responsibility to take advantage of off-duty 
and on-duty education programs, which will enhance your professional development in preparation to assume increased leadership responsibilities in your quest to attain higher concealed grades. You are charged at all times with presenting an image of compliance, competence, integrity, and pride. The image of a professional non-commissioned officer. Time will Senior Master Sergeant Bailey now come forward to make a special presentation. Excuse us for a second while we do our um, <laughs> our, <laughs> our promotion selfie, selfie right? It's daily selfie. <laughs> you guys, uh, thank you. Oh, if you, I'm sure you guys all know uh, now Staff Sergeant Absher. Um, I first met her in Greeley. I was working up there uh, as a the GSU advanced recruiter. And I really needed some assistance and the unit was great enough to give me an admin. And this is the one that I got. Um, and I could not have been more grateful um, to have her in my office, um, you know, Captain Pecco, Major Pecco now at the time, uh, we worked for her and I just couldn't be more proud of you, right? I've had the opportunity to watch you grow, not only as an admin, but now working for me and she embodies, um, stop looking at me like that. I'm a crier, sorry. <laughs> stop looking at me with your emotions. Um, <laughs> okay, so she embodies, you heard in uh, the enlisted force structure, um, which is you know pounded into us constantly, but a lot of times, especially on our EPRs, um, our enlisted performance reports, we forget that we're so busy leading all the time and, and as they said, you got the rank and the stripes and and we forget that part of that includes being a good follower, right? And this one right here um, embodies what it means to have good followership. And I could not be more proud of you and grateful to have you working for me instead of somewhere else. So um, I frame this for you. You can Aww. trade your stripes out and your stuff as you uh, get promoted again. But these staff certain stripes were flown over the skies of Colorado on July 1st. 2019 and an F-16D Fighting Falcon aircraft 860051 in honor of Staff Sergeant Rebecca J. Absher and it was flown by Lieutenant Colonel Kurt Tug Tong Green, 140 in Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And these are for her. She gets really upset when things are not in a vase. So I got her flowers and I did not put them in a vase. Purposeful. So you're welcome. <laughs> All right, thank you, Sergeant Bagley. So ladies and gentlemen, it is now my distinct pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Staff Sergeant. but I had student flight today. So we had a good time. Um, I am one of those flight the seat of your pants. So I'm gonna go at it. I wanna start with my journey a little bit, okay? And the people that are in here. And I wanna thank each and one of, every one of you uh, for coming here and supporting me. It means truly a lot. That's why when I walked in, I was like, I have to see who's all here first, okay? So starting in my, gen in my journey, I first moved up to Colorado uh, my freshman year of high school. And so Cindy was my best friend. Um, and uh, she and I have been through a lot of stuff. So thank you so much for coming, Cindy. And my first job was at McDonald's. And I started working with Karen. And she's here too. Thank you so much for coming. Well, I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit, okay? So I was working at State Farm and I loved it and I always wanted to be in the military. I was a leader there, and I was in management. I decided I wanted to join the guard, and Chief Cook was there at State Farm with me. And I told him I was gonna join, I was in, and he's like, all right, what the world? What are you doing? Why didn't we talk about this before? Why didn't you come to medical? Because I was going to school for nursing. And he's like, what? But Chief Cook um, definitely helped me on that path. And he showed me what true leadership and, ded and dedication to both are because he's an amazing 
leader at State Farm, and of course, one of the best chiefs here. So then I go to basic training, I get ready. Um, Sergeant Fegley helped me out with that. And uh, when I was at basic training, stand up, Tobin. <laughs> She's the first person that was there. So when we had to stand at attention, she was the first one. When we looked at each other, we were getting yelled at. She was across from me, my bedmate. So thank you so much for coming and bringing your husband. So um, with that, I learned to be a true, true leader at basic training. Um, we had to bring in a whole flight of 50 and bring them all together. And I made sure that I was still mom, but to all my sisters. And I would check on her every night to make sure she was good, as well with the others. Because you're only as tough as you know, your weakest link, okay? So then I go over to Greeley and I had my struggles. I did not pass A+, plus. I did not pass Security+, plus, and I had to keep studying and reaching out to all the 233rd. So the 233rd, they helped me out so much. Markmanship, getting all of that stuff and shooting, that was great. Uh, Major CK, she was one of the first people I saw there and she helped me like, okay, I am a BA. So I need to work out. I worked out with her a couple of times. And so student flight, if you think that I'm hard at all, she's a BA, okay? Um, but I always like to surround myself with people that I can learn from and I can grow as a leader. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit. So Sergeant Fagley. Um, Sergeant Fagley and I have been through a lot of different things. And I've seen her grow to be a senior master sergeant also. And I um, idolize her in many ways. So even though she's younger than me, she's taught me a lot. Um, and then going to my recruiting team. My recruiting team. Recruiter is one of the hardest positions ever because we put in more than 60 hours a week. So we're always balls to the wall and rocking and rolling. And it's because we truly love what we do and we do what we love. And that is my motto and I say that over and over again. Um, and that goes with anyone in the Air National Guard. We're a huge family and we help each other out. So, um, Sergeant O'Hagan, like, you're my team. And that goes uh, to Sergeant Kitchen. You have, uh, you have to put up with all of our crap. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> And uh, I go to Master Sergeant Kitchen probably all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, help me with this or help me with that. And he's a good um, mentor as well. So thank you, appreciate that. Um, but yes, so I'm gonna circle to the student flight trainees. I give you guys my all, all the time. And I go to drill to be there for you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I see so much potential, okay? Because my journey has not been easy, and I wanna make sure that you guys are the best that you can possibly be, okay? So go into my family. <laughs> um, family, um, my mom. My mom is the toughest woman I've ever known in my whole life, and she's my role model. So I've always wanted to have your word ethic, and I think I do. <laughs> um, to my kids. I love you guys very much. And you have to have your purpose when you're going through hard stuff. My purpose is you guys. And that's why I say that you're my heart and my soul. So if I'm gone, it's because I'm trying to better my future for you guys. And then my husband, he's my rock. So believe it or not, he's a lot nicer than I am. And a lot more patient than I am because I really don't have patience. So when I go home from working, I'm like, ah! And he's like, it's okay, what do you need? Um, but he has the, he's the most caring person I've ever met. So I thank you for that. But I hope as a NCO that I can continue to make you guys all proud and continue to keep everyone in my circle. And uh, yeah. Enjoy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Sorry for crying. Just trying to keep the military bearing. <laughs>
please join us in congratulating the newest staff sergeant and her family through a receiving line. Join us for refreshments and cake immediately following. This concludes.